Welcome to today's Top 5, the worst epidemics that the world has ever faced. Before the human population on Earth started becoming larger and larger, humans never really had to face extremely dangerous disease outbreaks. Starting as early as a thousand years ago though, humans have had to start taking precautions to keep themselves healthy and disease free. Today with a population of around 7.5 billion people, humans have been required to find cures to the diseases that can spread like wildfire at a moment's notice. When those cures don't work or get too expensive though, things can get out of hand quickly, leading to extreme debilitation and sometimes even death. Let's find out which diseases you need to stay away from at all costs on today's Top 5. Ranked at number 5 on our list, the mosquito-borne disease, malaria. This disease is most often transmitted into humans or animals from a female mosquito. Malaria is most common in Africa, Asia, and Latin America, so if you're ever traveling to these countries, make sure that you take the correct precautions. In 2015 alone, there were about 200 million cases of malaria worldwide, and those are just the ones that were reported. Of these 200 million cases, around 530,000 people died. Through the years, malaria has become more treatable and there are more medications available today than there ever have been in the past. However, it is still deadly and needs to be treated properly in order to keep it from getting life-threatening. Moving on to number 4 with another disease transmitted by mosquitoes, the yellow fever. This disease comes from the yellow fever virus and is carried by an infected female mosquito. Unlike malaria, this disease can only be transmitted to humans, primates, and other mosquitoes, not animals. Another thing that is different from malaria is that the yellow fever is most common in South American Africa, not Asia. Ever since the 1980s, the rate of infection has been increasing in these continents, which is said to be due to the more crowded living conditions and less people being immune. There are around 200,000 infections every year from this disease, and of those, about 30,000 die annually. Coming in at number 3, the Black Death, also referred to as the Black Plague. The Black Death was carried by rat fleas that nested on black rats. The plague made its way through Europe by the way of the Silk Road in merchant ships. This plague peaked in Europe during the years of 1346 to 1353. However, remnants of the plague came in small waves during the 19th century. It is estimated that the Black Death wiped out around 40% of Europe's population, bringing it from 450 million people to around 300 million. Yes, that is correct. The plague killed around 150 million people in Europe alone during its peak. And back during that time, once you contracted the Black Death, there was almost no way to escape it. Next on our list at number 2, the 1918 flu pandemic, or the Spanish flu. The Spanish flu gained its nickname through the death of King Alfonso, who is the ruler of Spain. This flu infected people all across the world, including isolated places such as the Arctic and Pacific Islands. During the year of 1918, this flu decreased the average life expectancy for all humans by 12 years. This is mostly due to the fact that the flu usually affects the elderly, weak, or already diseased. However, this flu killed the young and healthy as well. It is estimated that the Spanish flu infected about 20% of the world's population and led to the demise of about 4% of the world's population, which at the time consisted of about 100 million people. It is scary to think that something so small could spread across the entire world in just one year, especially without airplanes and other transportation being invented yet. Just imagine what it could do today. Finally, coming in at number one, the extremely infectious disease, tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is a disease that is spread through the air when somebody already infected spits, coughs, speaks, or sneezes. Because of how easily this disease spreads, the amount of people infected, and the amount of people that die from it each year, tuberculosis has attained the number one spot on our list. It is estimated that around a third of the world's population is susceptible to this disease today. And because of that, approximately 9 million people are added to the list of infected each year. Of these infected people, about 1.5 million pass away, with almost nothing health officials can do to stop it. Sadly, most of the people who get it are located in Africa and Asia, where the infected can't always be treated the way they need to be. And with it being an airborne illness, there is little third world countries can do to combat tuberculosis. I'm sure it's easy to see why this disease earned the number one spot on our list. Hope you guys enjoyed this top 5. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos uploaded every week.